Hello everyone! In this CSS Flexbox tutorial, I will be discussing alignment using the Flex Container properties of Justify Content and Align Items. If you viewed my previous Flexbox tutorial on Flex Direction, you may remember that to create a Flex Container, all you must do is set the display property of your container to Flex. The immediate children of the Flex Container are called Flex Items. The topic of this tutorial is alignment of the flex items within the flex container. Flex items are aligned along the main and or cross axis of the container. We use the justify content property to align flex items along the main axis of the flex container. We use the align items property to align flex items along the cross axis of the flex container. The direction of the main and cross axis depends on what you set your flex direction property to. By default, flex direction is set to row, which has a horizontal main axis starting at the left and going to the right, and a vertical cross axis which starts at the top and goes to the bottom. The cross axis is perpendicular to the main axis. Remember that we use justify content property to align flex items along the main axis and the align items property to align flex items along the cross axis. Our flex direction is set to row and we would like to align our flex items to the left of our container so we will use the justify content property. To align our flex items to the left of our container we set the justify content to flex start. This moves our flex items to the start of our main axis. With flex direction set to row, the main axis starts at the left and ends at the right. Our flex direction is set to row and we would like to align our flex items to the right of our container. So we will use the justify content property. To align our flex items to the right of our flex container, we set justify content to flex end. This moves our flex items to the end of our main axis. With flex direction set to row, the main axis starts at the left and ends at the right. Our flex direction is set to row and we would like to align our flex items to the top of our container. So we will use the align items property. To align our flex items to the top of our flex container, we set align items to flex start. This moves our flex items to the top of our cross axis. With flex direction set to row, the cross axis starts at the top and ends at the bottom. Our flex direction is set to row and we would like to align our flex items to the bottom of our container, so we will use the align items property. To align our flex items to the bottom of our flex container, we set align items to flex end. This moves our flex items to the bottom of our cross axis. With flex direction set to row, the cross axis starts at the top and ends at the bottom. Our flex direction is set to row and we would like to align our flex items to the center of our container horizontally, so we will use the justify content property. To align our flex items to the center of our flex container horizontally, we set justify content to center. This moves our flex items to the center of our main axis. With flex direction set to row, the main axis is our horizontal axis. Our flex direction is set to row and we would like to align our flex items to the center of our container vertically, so we will use the align items property. To align our flex items to the center of our flex container vertically, we set align items to center. This moves our flex items to the center of our cross axis. With flex direction set to row, the cross axis is our vertical axis. Now we will change the direction of our flex items by setting the flex direction property to column. With flex direction set to column, our flex container has a vertical main axis starting at the top and going to the bottom, and a horizontal cross axis which starts at the left and goes to the right. The cross axis is perpendicular to the main axis. Remember that we use justify content property to align flex items along the main axis and the align items property to align flex items along the cross axis. 
Our flex direction is set to column and we would like to align our flex items to the left of our container. So we will use the align items property. To align our flex items to the left of our flex container, we set align items to flex start. This moves our flex items to the start of our cross axis. With flex direction set to column, the cross axis starts at the left and ends at the right. Our flex direction is set to column and we would like to align our flex items to the right of our container, so we will use the align items property. To align our flex items to the right of our flex container, we set align items to flex end. This moves our flex items to the end of our cross axis. With flex direction set to column, the cross axis starts at the left and ends at the right. Our flex direction is set to column and we would like to align our flex items to the top of our container, so we will use justify content property. To align our flex items to the top of our flex container, we set justify content to flex start. This moves our flex items to the start of our main axis. With flex direction set to column, the main axis starts at the top and ends at the bottom. Our flex direction is set to column and we would like to align our flex items to the bottom of our container, so we will use the justify content property. To align our flex items to the bottom of our flex container, we set justify content to flex end. This moves our flex items to the end of our main axis. With flex direction set to column, the main axis starts at the top and ends at the bottom. Our flex direction is set to column and we would like to align our flex items to the center of our container horizontally, so we will use the align items property. To align our flex items to the center of our flex container horizontally, we set align items to center. This moves our flex items to the center of our cross axis. With flex direction set to column, the cross axis is our horizontal axis. Our flex direction is set to column and we would like to align our flex items to the center of our container vertically, so we will use the justify content property. To align our flex items to the center of our flex container vertically, we set the justify content property to center. This moves our flex items to the center of our main axis. With flex direction set to column, the main axis is our vertical axis. In a future tutorial, we will discuss what happens when we set justify content to space between or space around. We will also discuss what happens when we set align items to stretch or baseline. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I really hope that it has helped further your understanding on Flexbox. Please subscribe to my channel, Bootstrap CSS Girl. Thank you.